Okay, so hypothetically, oh god, right? Here we go. Yeah, you're in the club. Yes. You've had one too many <laughs> beverages. Yeah. You're on the hunt. Yeah. Needs must. <laughs> I'm your babe. Yeah. How are you moving to me? How am I moving to you? Yeah, what are you saying to me? Oh, man. Um, don't it, you know what? I don't even know. Because sometimes... What? Just carry on. <laughs> sometimes I'll be like... Depends how drunk I am. Because when I'm really drunk, like, there's been times where I've spoken to people and, like, woken up the next day with Snapchats or Instagrams and I have no idea that I even spoke to them. So I couldn't tell you what I did. The last time, I think, I... I don't know, maybe I'd either come up and just start speaking to you, like say something, right. or like if I saw you doing something, I'd take the mick out of it, or say something, like as an in. That's like what boys do when they're like 12. I don't like dancing up to people. I no. never liked it. I think no. it's weird, and it's like you're then like grinding on someone, and it's very like yeah. strange. The I boys in like, London are like that, aren't they? People yeah. don't, guys don't really seem to like actually like ask what's up or what's good. It's just like, let's like, do you mean, let's just dance towards you yeah. and just hope for the best. See, that's why I want to go to heaven though. Because I'm really interested to see how the guys move in the club. Mm-hmm. Same. Like, I reckon that I reckon they're just as bad. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. I reckon they're just, I just as want bad. To see what it's like. We're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to dress in like fucking like crop tops or something and, like <laughs> for the rest in colours and like we'll just hold hands or something next time. So, do you know what? So I put it on TikTok. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it got like like, like fifteen thousand views. And <laughs> Represent, come on. <laughs> and um, I think one of them was I like, just hold hands with your friend next time. And I was like, that's not the point though, is it? No, it shouldn't be. You should just be able to just go in. Yeah, allyship. But, but we would look cute anyway. So, so what are you doing? What what What's your go-to I... in a sober mind? How are you moving to me? What are you saying? I would probably come over and... I don't know. It depends what you're doing. Cause I've done it before, where like I've been dancing. In I'm the literally room. just dancing with my mates. That's all I'm doing. If I catch your eye, one of the things that I always do that I've never known that I've done until someone pointed it out to me is I'll look at someone and I start laughing. Yeah. Okay. And then I just I I will look a few times and keep laughing because apparently my friends have said that like it gets them interested. Yeah. They want to know why you're laughing. Yeah. 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 And it's happened, and I've done it without meaning to do it a lot. And then people will come over to me and they'll want to talk to me. They're like, what's like, what? And then, and then you're in because yeah. you start chatting. But I don't like, yeah, like I said, I don't like the dancing. So I would either do that or I would come over and I don't know what line I would use. I could not tell you because it could be anything. But it will be like, I'll come over and say something. Yeah. And then just go from there. Honestly, actually, right, for your mates that are watching this, because everyone seems to disagree with me, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> No, no, for real. Because <laughs> when, you, when you're pissed, mate, you're like a little girl. It Honestly, <laughs> it makes no sense at all. And then like you're... Um, but I've never actually seen it in action when we're together. It's always when I'm like at home and you're just messaging me. And you'll be like, and you'll be like oh, Jord, look at this, look at this, Jord. I'm, I'm on this, Jord. I'm like, yeah, okay, mate, let's go, cool. And next thing I know, you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mission complete. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I want to tell you a story about some, what someone said to me. On, this was ages ago, like to the point I can't even remember who it was. So this guy came up to me. And you know, like you have those pickup lines, but they're so cringe, you would never even think of using them. Like the Tennessee one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. My man came up to me and he was like, um, are you Jamaican because you're Jamaican me crazy? Oh my God. I said, I'm from Trinidad. I'm from Trinidad, mate. What did he say to that? He was like, oh, 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 st <laughs> still the Caribbean. I was like, nah, it's not. There is Obviously, I'm Jamaican, but I thought, nah, don't assume, bro. Don't assume. Oh, so at least if he'd have had like a backup line for it, it might have worked. But like to just come in with just one line and then be like, that's all I've got. Yeah. That's, that, that's like a, yeah, that's mad. That's too mad. That's so mad. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I just feel like a lot of guys like overcompensate with too much confidence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, there's like, there's being cool and there's being smooth and then there's just being a dickhead. Oh yeah, no, 100%. You know? It's like a level. Especially the boys in London as well. It's too much. Like we've been out together and I'm like, this is too much. Like what are they moving for? Yeah, that's what I mean. You see people dancing and moving and like people just move so mad. Like some of the things I've seen on nights out, it's just like, I've seen people like dancing with like, a, yeah, you... like two, two, a guy and a girl be dancing and like you just see the guy 
push the girl over. Like, do you remember? Do you remember when we met to Tiger Tiger and um, this guy literally like grabs this girl's face? Oh yeah. I yeah. thought, what <laughs> the fuck? What? It's Sorry. There's no, there's no level to and it then, either. What was that club we went to in? Oh. The one that shut down, Cargo. No, no, no. It was you, me, and that other bloke you used to be mates with. And there was that couple, those two girls, right? And we're there, like, having to, like, circle around them to make those blokes fuck off. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, where was that? Where did we go? It wasn't... Because we wanted to we wanted to go to um Heaven, but then Cal had already bought a ticket for this place. Do you remember? Where was that? I can't remember where it was. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember where it was. I can't think of it either. It was... They all merge into one, don't they? Yeah, and they're all so fucking expensive. You can't distinguish one from another. Yeah, no, I've watched it so many times. Been out so many times. I can't remember where that was. That's I the remember best. what you're talking about, though. Yeah, I can't think of the location. I think it might, but... have, been sen- it might have been Central. It might have been going mm. out somewhere in Central. Because I don't think we've been out in... Um, maybe it was Lightbox. We haven't been to Lightbox together. Have we not? No. Have we not, then? I don't think we've been to... We've not been to XO Wire either, have we? Mm-hmm. Well, look after. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Where's the best place to go in London? What club? It? Yeah. Depends what you like. Because, like you said, when I'm drunk, I don't really care. Like, I just do whatever. Just, just a liability. Fly. Yeah, I just have a good time. Like, I'll enjoy myself. So, I don't... Like, a lot of people hate Tiger Tiger. There's a lot of hate for Tiger Tiger. Like, I can I, actually, I can see why. Well, I don't think it's that bad. I like it. Yeah, but it's not my go-to. No, it, but I don't think it's like if Thomas says, "Oh, let's go out in Central," I'm like, All right, let's go Tiger Tiger. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. But I don't think it's that bad because you've got like Simmons as well. We've never been to the Simmons, I don't think. And I don't think so. They're like bar slash club sort of things, and they're always good fun. Like the the music can be a bit all over the place, but the drinks in there are quite nice, it's like cocktails and stuff. I really enjoyed Bully Ballerson. When we went there last oh, time, okay. I really enjoyed it. Do you that. know what? I was explaining this to a friend <laughs> yesterday, and I was like, do you know what? It's really awkward if you're not friends with everyone who you went with, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I was explaining this to my friend. So like, obviously, like it's like, how do you explain it? You explain it. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a ball pit, but it's got like a... A club as well, isn't it? Like it's got the yeah, like little, a little bar to the corner. Little bar club thing, which isn't very good. It's really not very good. But then you've got like this massive, just ball pit of like they're all like white balls as well, aren't they? So yeah. they use the LEDs to make it look like and pink as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it just makes it look like quite funky. But you literally just go and spend what was it two hours? You get two hour slot. And yeah. Then you um yeah two hour slot and then you. But the thing is, yeah, the, my my argument is, so it was, was it was it your mate's birthday? It was someone's birthday. Someone's birthday. And the way I see it is, yeah, I've only just met these people and I'm thinking, I can't be fucking throwing balls at them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't, be, like, not after the first meet, I can't be throwing balls at you either for two hours. I was just there and I was like, because my mate said to me, my mate who lives in London was yeah. like, um, oh, like, would you recommend it? And I was like, yo, do you know what? If you've got like a group of friends who you like enjoy throwing balls with, yeah, for sure. Or like couples, I feel like it'd be yeah, like a really yeah, cute yeah. date thing. Yeah, it would be. It's expensive though. It's very expensive. How much should we pay for it? It's like, it's 10, like 12, 12 pounds, pounds yeah. per ticket. And then the drinks were like similar. Yeah. But that's what I mean. You live in London and the drinks, that's not, I don't think that's that bad. Like 10, 12 pounds. No. Considering some of them are like 15 pounds. Or when we went to cargo, you had to buy two. The well, they've. Spend was do you know they've good. lost their alcohol license? That's why they closed. Really? I don't know the reasons, but I saw it on a podcast. Um, but they've lost their alcohol license. That's why they can't. That's why they had to close. So it wasn't actually. Yeah. It wasn't actually the place itself, yeah. because they lost their license. And then if you can't sell alcohol, well, yeah, you no, can't really it. do that, and can you? No, because it was good. It was really good. Really I liked it. Time. Yeah, it was good fun. Problem, yeah. But yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me because it was literally like, what was it? It was the minimum card spend was twenty pounds, and you had to like. But so no drink was more than fifteen pounds, so you had to buy two drinks every single time. It was like, so it doesn't surprise me they lost their license because that was just like daylight robbery. It was awful. I remember going up like, oh yeah, I'll get a drink, fifteen quid, yeah, right. and then I was like, yeah, I'll pay by card, and they were like, yeah, minimum spend is twenty quid, and I was like, well, of course for a five, they were like nothing. I was like, yeah, I had to buy two. Are you um? How many years have we been mates for? All right, actually, should we do an introduction? Do you know, I've never done this before, but I'm going to do it for you because I'm feeling um, generous. So, 
the guy that's here, not all the time because he's a bit <laughs> flaky, the guy that's here half of the time, right? When the camera is in the right angle, the right position, it's because of my man here. Thank you. Do you feel that? <laughs> I, I haven't finished yet. The myth, the legend, the dog, <laughs> the don, the cameraman. <laughs> the cameraman. Sam, what's good? Yeah. How's your week been? Um, it's been all right. I've, I was going home to do work this week. Like, when did you go home? home. Um, I'll go home Sunday. Oh, okay, tomorrow. Work Monday to, yeah. like, Monday to Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then come back Wednesday night. But I've basically been like, general manager so it's been quite yeah funny. and how's the creative so obviously sam's also a youtuber i'm gonna put his link down below check it out you know what i mean how's that going <laughs> well actually dry dry as hell no, it's it going is, it do you know what yeah i'm that per long time. <laughs> i'm that person right i've got so many like creative friends and i'm that person i'm that really irritating person who will literally message like oh when's your new song when's your new video i do it to literally every oh, it's good though it's good yeah and i love the energy i feel like i wish i got that off my mates <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh, is it still running is it i'm like yeah just about no it's, what's going on it, well i've actually filmed a video now i filmed one okay. uh cool. two days ago cool. finally it's been about a year since my last hasn't been, hasn't been that long has it Clo close on a year okay. i don't actually know but it's somewhere on a year um and it's about doing november obviously i can't grow yeah i was gonna say any facial hair um, and because of my back, I've not been able to do any weight training or anything. So I'm going to do like a 30 day transformation video, if you will, okay. but like raising money. So cool. I'm going to, once it comes out, it's going to come out maybe tomorrow because I want it to come out quite early in November. I don't want to, because normally I upload on a Friday, mm -hmm. but I don't want to wait till next Friday to make, to upload it. Make so sure you give me the link so I can pull it in here. Yeah, no, I will. Um, so it's like half edited as well. I've done half of it, but there's a few more bits I want to shoot for it before yeah. I make uh, do it. So hopefully today or tomorrow morning, I'll get that done. Cool. And then, yeah. Back so on then the ball then. We will be back. Do you know what the issue is though with being a creative yet? I feel like I'm very much in belief that there's a niche for everything. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think everyone can make something and it can like oh, yeah, yeah. reach a lot of people. It's just finding the audience. But I think it is consistency. One of my friends, as you know, has just fit, fit has just hit a thousand subscribers yeah, sure after like, like two yeah. years, which is fucking insane. That's, that's quite a quick growth rate though. That's quite Do you reckon? Good. Yeah, for a thousand. It's so hard to make it on YouTube now as well. The out al the algorithm's fucked. Oh yeah. 100%. The algorithm is so confusing. Like I was looking, so I got quite a few subscribers from my last episode. No, not my last mum tray. Yeah. And it was all random people, like people who I didn't even know, which is obviously like a blessing. Yeah, and it's yeah. all from TikTok. Yeah. No, that's that's so it's though. It's redirected, isn't it? Yeah. Because they always say that about TikTokers. That's why they don't do as well as um YouTubers because TikTok's like you don't get to know the person because it's like 10, 30 mm -hmm. second videos or whatever they yeah. upload. Whereas um, YouTube, like you're making regular content, so you're getting to know the people, like the people are getting to know you as a person. Yeah. And that's why they always say TikTok is like, yeah, that's good, like short term, but if you want it for real, you've got to go into YouTube. Cause that's or you need to like have it like redirected into some, uh, yeah, something yeah, yeah. else. You need yeah. to be doing something else. So it's like YouTube, that's why YouTube's so all over the place at the minute as well, because you've got all these TikTokers coming over to YouTube, like putting their, st like, all their links, and then all of a sudden you'll have a channel to some like 10 subscribers, it blows up to like, couple of thousand you know ten thousand depending on how big they are as well and you know what right i feel like also like um and this isn't the shit on the tiktokers because a lot of them have worked very hard for oh, what yeah, they yeah, have 100%. but it's very much like it makes it very difficult for people who don't have like a platform prior to try and like make their moves oh yeah no, do you know what i mean so and it's like it was it was hard already but now it's like been made twice as hard there's actually a girl who went to our college right and um I didn't really know her before. I don't really know her now, to be fair, but she like follows my yeah. stuff and she likes it. And she had a channel during college oh, okay. doing like random stuff on like yeah. 2000 subs, oh, like mad. bear views. I'll show you afterwards, but just stopped. Yeah. And then she said, she said, I think it was, it was sometime last week and she was, I'm going to like do it again. I was like, you've got the subscribers. Yeah. You may as well. People will still, yeah. people are going to get notifications when you upload. The problem is though, as well, like you get, a lot of when you've not uploaded for a while, which is probably what I'll find when I start, like when this video comes out and I start regularly doing it again, is like, yeah, you've got a certain amount of subscribers. If you're not doing it regularly, they just, but like I do it like with channels that I haven't watched for years. I'm still subscribed, but I'll never watch the content mm -hmm. again because I just haven't. It's consistency. It. Yeah. So if you're then not uploading regularly, you just have like almost dead subscribers that are just kind of there yeah. to keep your number there, but they're not 
actually watching your stuff. This is the thing. This is this is why, like, every time I'm like, oh, let's take a break. I'm like, no, don't. Yeah, no, you can't. Don't. You can't stop. Yeah. I'm going to take a month break over Christmas, but everyone can cope with that. Yeah, but it's like the end of the season, right? Like, like season I guess break. so, yeah, yeah type of like, thing. But, like, when back. people have, like, months on, like, do you know what I mean? Unless yeah, you've, yeah. like, got a massive following, it's like, fun. this is this is really going to set you back, yeah, let's be even, honest. Even, like, when, um, back in, when was it, 20... 15, something like that. KSI went on a mad break. He like deleted all his socials and everything. And even when he first came back, like yeah, he had his first video blew up. Someone was like, "Where have you been?" But then he kind of the like, follow up. It, it, it like it grew back to where it was. It didn't like go instantly. Even with, like a name that big, it took him a while to get to where he is now. Like now he uploads a video and gets what five million views per video. He's like viral technically every video. That's makes, incredible. Which is like nuts. Yeah. But like even for him, he's just like the most recent one I've seen because there's loads of YouTubers I used to watch when I was younger. No, I'm the same. And they are all on like a million, and some of them haven't uploaded for like years. Mm -hmm. like they just don't do it anymore. It's so, a step. I think it's a stepping stone for a lot of people oh, into other things because yeah, yeah, once yeah. you get monetized, like you can, your yeah. reach just it's just easier, isn't it? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, YouTube push your content when you're making money from it. They'll push. Yeah. You're more likely to be suggested, whereas when you're like we are now, and you've not, you, you're slowly building the following. Like you don't really get pushed as much. No, of course not. Occasionally, you might get on the suggested video, video list, which is what I think one of mine did, and what that's why it did so well. Yeah. But other than that, it just doesn't happen. Mm, I know it's because it's almost like it kind of like dies in a sense. Yeah, yeah. You no, know. Really. How how long have we been mates for? Uh, since what? 20, 16. Like 16. How old are we? Twenty three. Yeah. So. For seven years. Do you know they say when you're mates for seven years, you're friends forever? You lucky devil. You believe in that? <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Seven years. Yeah, that's crazy. I was, I was talking to someone else about like, when college was the other day. I was like, yeah, I finished college. And they were like, yeah, I, I finished school that year or like I've just done like an exam. So like, honestly, that's the worst thing about being at uni and being older. Like, yeah, so I can't imagine. Because how many years above are you from like your mates? Like two? Uh, Three? So a lot of my like good mates actually are only like they're either my age older than me or like a two years younger than me. Yeah. But some of them are like, like some of my friends are like nineteen, and that's like Sam's twenty three. Yeah, four years, four or five years. See, age, I started years. uni a year after, and I felt really fucking old. So fuck knows how you must feel. Yeah. But then you're quite like you wouldn't be able to tell. You can't really tell though, can you? Really. No, I don't. You don't really. People. You can with fresh eighteen-year-olds, but yeah, that's just. But it's it's that, more like when people. You. I feel like you tell people's age more, either with like their inability to drink, <laughs> like when they have like three drinks and they're on the floor, yeah, and it's a mess, or like normally when it comes to like relationships or getting with people or whatever, like the way that they respond to it, yeah, you can tell their age if they're immature yeah. or not. But like as a general, like you don't really, doesn't really come up like how old people are. Like you can just go have fun. I wanted to, um, this has just popped in my mind. I want to do a college story time. Oh, God. Go on, then. So, set the scene. <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier, and I thought, am I going to say it? Go so, basically, me and Sam, yeah. Also, right, actually, let me say this first. So, I was reading this thing, right, and apparently, like, a lot of drama students yeah. end up being creatives instead. Have you yeah. heard of that? Because, obviously, it's like we're using the skills... We're just not acting. It makes we're, sense. Because we're, we're, we, we are slash were drama students. Yeah, once upon a time. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, right, set the scene. So we're in, let's just say, so it's less confusing, year 13. Yeah. Oh, 13. Right. We're in year 13, right? We're in drama. We've got our play coming up. So it's me, <laughs> Sam, B and Steve, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? And basically, in this play... Steve kills B. So we're in a separate room to everyone else rehearsing, right? And our teacher, D, <laughs> D comes oh, up God. and we're like <laughs> rehearsing how B gets killed. So Steve is strangling B, right? B, Steve is strangling B. <laughs> So then D, the teacher, swaps places, <laughs> swaps places with Steve, oh. wraps his hands, wraps his hands around <laughs> B's neck, right? B's the student, oh, D's the God, teacher. And then B and then B goes, harder, Daddy. <laughs> oh. 
Oh god, it was a a seventeen seventeen year old lass and like a fifty fifty four fifty. Oh, it was, you know, though, he loved it. It made him <laughs> so happy. That's what makes it even worse. Oh. He was honestly like the weirdest teacher I've ever had. He, was, he loved it. He was literally there like, <laughs> no, you do it like this. Yeah, but like, he was actually strangling her as well. It wasn't even like just like doing like an acting thing where you put your hand there. He was like proper going for it. Oh, I was so mad. He was honestly the weirdest teacher. Uh, didn't he have like apparently he had like a camper van as well that like he used to spend all his summers in and everyone's like yeah like he apparently i don't know how true this is but people had been like invited to go and get stoned with him in really this, in this camper van yeah and i was like what are you serious he like, has lost he has lost his job to be fair yeah that's what i mean he was very <laughs> weird <laughs> like and he was the and he was the head of drama as well like, yeah. let's not forget that like yeah. he was the head of drama he, and he had no idea what he was doing the other teacher she was so much better yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, she was cool. She was so much better. I'm so good being keeping people anonymous. She'd like leak you all. Yeah, mm. literally. <laughs> um, I told them I was like, "Be insty, I'm gonna say this," and they were like, "For fuck's sake, what have we done?" <laughs> but um, no, that was yeah, that was that was nuts. He was crazy. He was so. Weird. Would you ever be a teacher? I don't think I could do it. No, I don't think I ain't got the patience. No, I think I could do like higher education, like. Like uni, yeah, like lecture. Maybe I'll mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to. Do, I have no desire. But like, to if you it. like had to pick between, yeah, like, no, like the, the people, three, the four. Yeah, people are at uni because they want to be at uni to yeah. study something. Like you don't. Well, I mean, that's like most people are at uni because they want to study. Something. But like they're not. They're not being dickheads in class. Like, no, like, not really. No, them. people are a lot more focused. Like, no. like school, people don't want to be there. Yeah, and then. Like, and you'd make a lot more money doing being a lecturer, I swear. Yeah, so a lot. Because you make money from your research. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it's a lot of money. But, no, nah, not for me. So, this week... So, this week... I'm a bit annoyed, right? Because this has happened twice to me now. I thought Black Panther soundtrack was going to come out last week. And I also thought it was going to come out this week. But I'm certain if you look anywhere online, it says 4th of November... But never mind, yeah, we move. Um, so, Drake and 21 Savage has released their first collaborative album, Her yeah. Loss. Yeah. What are you saying? Well, first thing, what is the picture? I didn't Google it because I thought you might know, so I thought I'd ask you. Honestly, no clue yeah, at I was all. Say, is there like a... Like a Drake Drake does this thing where like his like cover art is just a bit shit, yeah. especially recently. Because I remember there was the one... What was it called? It was the one where she was like, there was loads of pregnant women as well. And was it was like, but it was that. just like emojis you could copy and paste. Yeah, literally. Yeah, so certified lover boy, there was that. Yeah. And then there was honestly never mind where it was just like some like tacky like um kind of like italic silver thing, and now yeah. there's just this. I I could not tell you the meaning at all. No, I don't know if there was a meaning about it or whether it was just. Whatever. But like, what are you? What do you think of it? I mean, I listened to it what yesterday. Um, yeah. It was quite slow, I thought. Like, mm -hmm. I'm really bad for listening to, like, when I listen to music, I listen to the music, not to the lyrics. I have to really focus if okay. I'm listening to the lyrics. Yeah. So, like, some of it I was really focused on. I think one or two of the songs I added to my playlist, um, like, one of them they've used um, another song's backing track. I think it's, like, like Chow Bella or something. It's, I can't remember. It's something like that. It's not Chow Bella. I know it's not Chow Bella. You mean the one that's, um, I know what you mean. I think it's the one that I like. Oh, I can't play it because of copyright. But I think is it? It's called like it's C R. Spin about you? No, it's um. It's like, it's, it's, Actually, hang on. Let me play it, and I'll just mute this bit out. Um. Yeah, one more time than Daft Punk. That was my favourite one. Yeah. Um, I thought it was quite, yeah, it was slow and I was quite bored. Yeah, so was <laughs> I was right. listening to it on the drive here and um, I thought it was really fucking boring. <laughs> well, I just thought, like, that collab and I saw so many people tweeting about it. Like, oh, I'm going to use this. I was excited, yeah. Watching. I thought, oh, there's going to be some real, like, bangers on there. Like, stuff's going to be, like, going mad. And then you listen to it and it's just like, oh, is that, is that. The like, thing is, right, is? I feel like Drake's gone to a point. 
I can't believe I'm I can't believe I'm reviewing another Drake album on here already. <laughs> I think Drake's gotten to a point where like he has so much money he just doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Which makes no sense at all because his old music is really good. Take care, fucking incredible. Yeah. Nothing was the same. Amazing. Yeah. Views good. Even Scorpion was like not amazing, but it was right. it was still like yeah. better than not. Yeah. And like I feel like he's done got this thing where he's got comfort and he keeps on using the same beat because the beat is the same all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think yeah. you have a lot of fucking money. You made more money than most rappers in the game. Oh, yeah, so why are you telling me that you can't afford new beats? But I really liked that song. The yeah. um oh my god, what's it called? Um Circo Lu- Loco. I liked um Pussy and Millions with Travis Scott. That was, good, that was sick. Yeah, I like that one. But like and I liked the first one, Rich Flex. But like yeah. I just think I, ju- I don't know. I just think a lot of it is just filler. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Like, the first one, the first that song, uh, Rich Flex, is good. But, like, when you, like, that's the opening of an album, I was kind of like... It always is, though. The first song yeah. always re- is always a strong contender. I was like, okay, this is really good. And then, like, you start listening to more of it. And I was like, oh. And then, yeah, that one that we just said came on. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, this is really good. And then the one with uh, Travis Scott, too, that was good. Yeah. But I was very, like, the whole time, I was very much just like, I'm, I'm not in, like, like, gonna add everything from us like this is amazing like, it's all right yeah it's not that good. i just feel like because he he like since he started he's released something every single year yeah. and i'm thinking just take a break yeah, i would yeah. love i would love for him to take like a five six year break and bring back something that's really really strong yeah no, do you know what i mean because yeah. now it's just it's getting weak J. Cole and kendrick do it every time oh yeah no and they, they like release really good stuff every time they do release something it's just he's just I don't know. Maybe maybe he's got that mentality that he does need to keep going, otherwise he's just not gonna be. That just isn't true. He's literally like the. Yeah. Ri- he's literally like the rich. I think is he. He's so rich. Like he's, he's not. I, he's not the richest rapper, but he's definitely like. He definitely makes more. Well, more. Yeah, he's in another top ten. I'd say easily. Probably yeah. Top five. He's worth like. What? No, but when you think of like Dre and like I think of like Dre and like Eminem and then like Jay and um. Who's the other one I think of? Dre of Scent. Yeah. But um, do you mean, he's not in that category, but he's still, no. do you mean, he makes more money than where are they going to make? Yeah. Oh no, hundred percent. Like, you see his house that he built as well. Did you see that like a couple of years ago? Like the, the Yeah. He's moved to, he's moved to London. Has he? He's moved to London. He, um, I saw a TikTok on it. So there was a mysterious buyer for this house in London, but yeah. I can't remember, but you know how people on TikTok find out things really, find out, how they, do they it. analyze things like yeah. really weirdly. And there's some link. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Someone knows Drake or something to do with being Canadian. There, there was some link. I, I can't remember, but it, um, yeah. they basically they concluded that it was Drake's house or that Drake's going to buy it. For like London, though, is probably like quite calm compared to the states. So I don't blame him for like wanting to move over. And then he spends a lot of time in Canada, doesn't he? At least Canadian. Yeah, that's what I mean. And like Canada is quite a chill out place. Yeah. Like, Toronto though. Like, yeah. It's Toronto though. It's a bit different. I don't know. When I went to Toronto, it's just a nice vibe. Like yeah. all the time. Like I've never been somewhere and felt so like, like this is just nice. Yeah. Like, all the time. Everyone says it's really safe as well, don't they? Yeah, you don't feel at any point, considering people can go and buy guns out there and all of that stuff, you never mm. feel like on edge ever. Yeah, and like the fucking states. Literally, but it's like in, even living in London now, like you hear police cars and ambulances all the time, and like out there you barely heard it. Like obviously there's still stuff happening, but it was nowhere near like it's here. The, yeah. Oh, this is fucking. You know, like when you just read something, you think this is fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is fucked. So obviously, what day was it? Wednesday, I think. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday. So Wednesday, obviously, takeoff from Migos was shot. Yeah, I saw that. I think it was that sort of like a bowling alley or something like I was, that. I read it was someone to do. They were playing like a card game yeah. or something really. But like, if you watch the video prior, he's not actually saying anything. It's um, what's the other one called? Not 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 offset. I don't know what the other one's called. I only knew those. Hang two. on, let me give creds to it to my man. Let me just figure out what his name is quickly. Quavo. That's Quavo. It. Um, there's like no information on it at all. But I just think someone made a really good point the other day, right? Which I saw on Twitter. They were like. It doesn't make sense that these artists that seem to get killed the most are rappers. Yeah, no, it's weird. it's it's always rappers, yeah. and we can't associate. Let's not associate with like gang criminal because it just isn't half the time. It really no, isn't. No, no, sure. But I think it's always like Jimmy. It's always rappers that are getting attacked. Yeah. It's always rappers that are getting hurt. And I'm thinking, how does it just does? I don't get it. I don't understand why. Like, yeah, like you say, like it's not. 
I'm not even going to blame Hartfield on like gang war and all of that because it just doesn't make sense. Like, like that shooting makes no sense. Like they're talking over a game and then like he gets shot and so what? Like why? There's no. It's just America though. Honestly, I think it's just the way that Americans are. Like they're just not there. And like, I think everything is just like oh violence straight away. Yeah, like, and I feel like, but also part of the issue is like how easy it is to get guns. Yeah. Like, do you remember when we? Do you remember when we watched that thing on Michael Moore? Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the Columbine, Columbine thing. Columbine. It's just fucked though. You could literally have like such high like mental instability and you can still get a fucking gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so bizarre. I don't they, get it. They, they, they keep saying, oh, we're going to change the laws, but like, personally, I don't think they'll ever. I think they do. Or I think they. I think it varies depending on state. Yes. Yeah, but like, a lot harder to get Because obviously, it's such a big country. You can't like have one rule that like applies to every single no, no, state because no, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. wouldn't work. But it's it's ridiculous. And like, yeah, he was like he's probably one of the biggest in recent times though. Rappers yeah, that have been mm -hmm. been killed. Like, who was someone else? There was someone else not that long ago as well. Oh god, died. what was his name? I actually talked about it on here. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean. you are right. Like they are just like, they just get picked down. Like it's like like people just pick a rapper and go, like that's the rapper that we're gonna kill this week. It's ridiculous. Um, P and B Rock, mm. P and B Rock, and um, I think. But also, like on the other on the other side, on the other side, I think, um, and it's just such a shame because he was so young, twenty eight. That's yeah, 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 five years older than us, and he was so fucking talented, yeah, good, so man. so talented. Like me, I think Migos really put like trap, like rap, like on like the market Migos, on the Migos scene. Nuts. And Migos live. Have you you ever see, seen Migos live? Yeah, I saw him at. I think I did um, a reading. I saw him at Wireless. Yeah. And like they were like the most mental mosh pits, and just that yeah. whole vibe was just insane. Like I love that song. You know the one where it's like. Um, I'm really bad at remembering lyrics. It's like raindrops, bad and yeah, bougie, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, on it, like yeah, so yeah. so clever. Such um, yeah. you no know, really fucking good con content. Yeah, and a lot of people have been saying that um, Takeoff was arguably the best one out of the Migos, like three as well. I to be honest with you, I, I can't even pretend. I haven't really heard too much individually. I've heard some he's... of Takeoff stuff, and I've heard some of um, Offset stuff. I've not heard the uh, Quavo stuff. Yeah, heard any of his stuff. but I do respect people. Do respect him highly, and do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I love them as a group. So, but yeah, so that's that's mad. They'll all, I reckon they'll be they'll probably be like a tribute thing. Um, yeah, at some point they'll be at the end of the year, like they always do. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be that'll probably be good. But it'll be weird. It'd be weird to see just two of them on stage and not all three. Yeah, they haven't they haven't released anything, have they? Any statements? I mean, not that they would to be fair. Because are they brothers? I don't know. Or cousins? All, they're, they're, they're something I, think like, they're they're cousins. All, yeah. I think they're cousins. I think they're cousins. Yeah, close, which yeah. is just... So it's a bit mad, but... I want to talk to you about this. So you're not too familiar with this. You haven't seen Heartstopper, have you? No, I'm not. Okay, strongly recommend because it's very fucking good. So basically, so... One of the boys who's in Heartstopper, he's called Kit Connor, right? Plays yeah. one of the main boys, um, yeah. a bisexual character called okay. um, Nick. Nick something, I cannot remember. If anyone yeah. remembers, please let me know. I want to say Nelson. And basically, I think this is really fucked, like really fucked. Mm -hmm. So he is a bisexual character and he has never like addressed his sexuality because why the fuck should you need to? Who gives a shit? Um, <laughs> and... Um, but like people, this fandom, this fandom, because it's all like, it's like mid teenagers and like early twenties, so they're all a bit like excessive. You know, how people are just like, we need answers, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no one knows you anything. Yeah. But they've all, but they've been speculating ever since Heartstopper came out in the summer, right? Yeah. And he, um, he was caught pictured with a girl. Um, I haven't seen the picture. I think it was intimate. I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. And everyone's been like barking that, like, oh, like you're not bisexual, you're, you're not queer, you're not bisexual type of thing. Yeah. And then he made a tweet earlier on in the week saying, saying, back for a minute, I'm bi. Congrats for forcing an 18 year old to out himself. I think some of you missed the point of the show, bi. Because the whole point of the show is like labels aren't necessary. They work yeah, for some people. They work yeah. for some people. Some people they don't. That's yeah. fine. And I just think to have like, the whole like world let's be honest the whole fucking world to push you to come out must be like like the worst thing imaginable uh, like yeah, do you know no, what i mean like, that's 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 why so many celebrities aren't on social media that all their accounts are run by by their team their pr yeah because yeah, they don't they don't want to see it like that would be horrible like because it's, it's, it's a big thing isn't it like being in a show and playing like a, a gay or a queer character if you're straight like it's a big thing and it's a big uh i know we've spoke about it before like a topic of 
conversation with them and like whether it's right or whether it's wrong and what do you think all of that i mean because we've done acting to me it's like it shouldn't really matter purely because like you're becoming that person when you're doing the role so like i think yeah there needs to be a lot more um gay and queer characters in stuff and I, I think i think they like need moving forward we are moving into that now like we're seeing it a lot more i think they need to be prioritized yeah, i don't yeah, think no, i don't i don't think you should if there's a straight actor who does it better is the camera still rolling if the if there's a straight if there's a straight character that plays it better, then give them the role. But I do think they should be prioritised. Oh, yeah, no, more, more so for trans people as well. I think trans yeah. characters should more than not be played by trans actors and actresses. Yeah, you understand um, what you've been through and what they're. But I think through. also one of the issues is right. A lot of people like detach celebrities from their actual feelings yeah. and i think a lot of people forget that celebrities are actual people yeah, yeah. actual people with actual feelings do you know what i mean yeah, yeah, no, and like yeah. kit connor right he's 18 years old yeah. he shouldn't have to come out do you know what i mean yeah, yeah, and i feel yeah. like the poor guy has been forced into it because everyone's been creating these like misconceptions and, and suspicions and it's very much like if your mate was in the closet and we all fought it, you wouldn't say nothing to them. So why are you saying it to Kit Connor? Yeah, Give wait, my man a break. Yeah, you wait till someone's ready to say it. And it's it's just, it's just sad. It's like the sad reality of the world at the minute, to be honest. But, I mean, being forced to come out, like, it's one of those things that, like, he comes out and, like, say you never, you never see him with a man, like, ever. Even if, like, you know, he's come out, he's by, but you never see him with a man. The world's, like, that's just not enough. Yeah. Like, at some point, he needs to be seen with a man. You otherwise. just can't please people, yeah, can you? That's what I mean. Like, he'll never be in a place where people will like let him have his happiness because mm -hmm. it's always going to be someone moaning for something yeah that's just a lot of it it's all it's twitter everyone says twitter's the worst place for it. twitter is fucking toxic yeah. i i hate twitter like it literally twitter doesn't benefit me at all i honestly don't understand why i have it <laughs> <laughs> but like it's quite like uh, i guess it's like my kind of like like it gives me like a fair bit of knowledge yeah and you get a lot of news from twitter mm -hmm. you do get a lot of like the news and the i think it like twitter. um gives ovary ovaries Ovaries? No. Overviews. Overviews. <laughs> <laughs> it gives overviews quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a question then. So like say you were to have obviously you're a straight man. Yeah. Say you were to have like a queer friend, a queer male friend yeah. who was to like move to you, what would you do? I don't agree with this at all. Personally, I <clears throat> I wouldn't actually let me stop talking, but yeah, what would you do? <laughs> um <laughs> Well there's like if they move to you, like you just you know, speak to them. Like, I don't see the point in like when people get angry about stuff like that because it's just like doesn't matter. Like you have to shoot your shot, and if yeah. you're not if you're not too sure what you're into, yeah. Like if if like you're shooting it like and you're drunk, it's like a very different thing to if like you're doing it when you're sober. Like do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, like if it's sober though, I take it more seriously. I'd be like, oh okay, so like what's, yeah, what's that? yeah, exactly. But like, when you're drunk, someone might just be like, oh, okay, mate, yeah, all right. Not tonight. And then I'll like, <laughs> wind them up about it a little bit. But like, if they say it to you sober, like, then you know they're being genuine. Because you never know if they're drunk, whether they're being genuine or whether yeah. they're just being stupid. Like, but if they did it sober, it'd just be like, you know, like, I'm, you know, I, I'm not into, I'm not into guys. Like, yeah. So, and that's a real thing, though. I feel like with like a lot of, um, because like internalized like hatred and like homophobia. Yeah. I think a lot of like queer men like gravitate and are like more attracted to like straight men. Yeah. I remember, um, without saying names. If we think about my man. Yeah. 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 And I think fucking, I was like, I've never been, <clears throat> I've never been so obsessed with anyone. Like yeah, yeah, you've yeah. like you've known me for a long time. I've never been. Yeah, no, never, and, yeah. I, and I don't fucking get it. No, <laughs> and no, I think no. I, I remember my mentality was like, I have to have him. And if I can't have him, no one can. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. was a dicker though, to be fair. He was like, yeah, no, he, he, was. he wasn't like a shutdown. He was like, oh, I could be, I could not be. But um, do you know what I mean? And yeah, I feel like yeah. a lot of um. Yeah, I feel like a lot of queer men in particular gravitate towards either straight men or straight passing men because it's like, it seems more like normal and more right, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. wrong, which is completely wrong. I'm not I, think, I think it's because, you know what, it, I think with men, like, because obviously at the minute, and uh, I've noticed it a lot lately, like every girl I've met just lately, when we end up inevitably having a conversation about like, you know, have you got a partner, blah, 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 blah. They're all very quick to say, "Oh, I'm bi." Like most girls I've met just lately, really. Like, and it's like not generalized. Not saying this is how it is, but every girl I've met that's been about twenty, it's literally that age, eighteen to twenty. All of them are like, "Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm bi." 
But like they like a few of them have like just said it without like throwing it in your face, and a lot of them are, they're very like they're on you with it. Like they're like, oh, I'm by like you need to know I'm by sort of thing. Do you know what it is? That it's because a lot of men like that. Yeah, but it's just for me. I don't know whether how many of these girls that are saying it are actually saying it because they are, or that they're just saying it because it's kind of. The I don't thing, want to the say it's like a fashion thing, but like it's just at the minute. Like no, but it is valid. Yeah. It is valid. Like obviously, it's not. It's not most, but it's yeah. enough for it to be a problem. But with with men, it's not like it's not the same. Well, it it's not. Be, it it's, be, it's, it's not the same. It's not thing. the like, same. It women, yeah, and women like it doesn't intrigue women yeah. unless they're bi as well. No, exactly, it so just, it's, just doesn't. So it's not the same, and I think so. I can kind of see why you know gay and queer men do try sometimes with straight men because there's a lot of men that still now don't come out or won't come out for a while. Like they take, do you know what I mean? Like they're not ready to. Mm -hmm. And I guess when you move to them, at least you can kind of find out. And to me, a lot of the time, if someone really reacts to it and gets like, really like angry, that's when I would be kind of saying like, you know, you asking, do you need to ask questions? Like, you know what I'm like? like I would just, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> sorry, but I, you know, I'd laugh it off. I don't care. But I think it's just a very interesting like dynamic between the two. But yeah, no, I I would just be like, no, I'm, you know, you know, you, well. Probably about, you know, I don't, I don't like guys, but, you know. You're better than most. Yeah, and how, fuck it, and how sad is that? Yeah, that's what I mean. I'd be like, you know, thanks. If anything, I'd probably wind them up. I'd be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that's nice, though. Like... So many, like, so many blokes would get so offended. And, like, I've, I'm have i quite lucky. All of my friends, are, all my male friends are very woke. Most of my friends, yeah. like, just friends in general, are straight, straight men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of them are just, like, they would find it funny. Yeah. They would be like, okay, whatever, like, cool, haha, -ha, like, shrug it off type of thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, um... Yeah, it's just it's, it's it's weird. I don't get why people. I think some people's upbringing is like a factor in it, but a lot of people like, I just don't. I don't get why they get the way they do about stuff like that. So it's like it's nice. It's be like it'd be like going to heaven and then getting angry when you get hit. Like that would make no sense at all. Yeah. That's probably why we didn't get it. And they probably thought, oh, you look like the type of blokes who are gonna like fucking um yeah may go mad yeah because it's straight it's, presenting problems, eh? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain? I want you to lead this. Can you explain the stuff of Elon Musk? Because it's on my trending topics, but I don't, I don't really understand it. Oh yeah, well, because he just bought. Um, so does he own all of Twitter? Yeah, he, he's like the the boss of Twitter now. Like, right. He completely owns it, and he's caused a lot of controversy at the minute. I don't know. What he always he always is though. To be yeah, fair, yeah, he's the richest man in the world. Though. He's like on track to be a trillionaire. He's worth like. That's disgusting. Yeah, he's he's. I think it was by like 2030, the prediction was that he'll be a trillionaire. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't. It was in like two years. Mm. It was in two years. The trajectory he's on, he'll be a trillionaire in two years. Which, mm -hmm. and, and if he has that much money, he could give everyone in the world money and everyone would be at like a good level. Because someone called him out a while back when he was announced as like the richest person, um, saying that if he gave just 1% of his wealth, they could like stop like, poverty. And, like, yeah, and, like, like I think dirty it was, it was, water. Like, yeah, I think it was one of the charities um that work out of africa um to do with the i was either the water or the, just the 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 hunger like the famine and um yeah and he then tweeted back saying you know if you can prove it that this will happen i'll give you the money happily like so he's but he's yeah so he's just taken over twitter and he's first thing he's done he's fired a lot of people hasn't he yeah so he's he's fired basically twitter's losing four million a day though Right, okay. Which he's, this is what he said, but he wants to make Twitter this news, truthful, like, world, like, real thing. So if he's genuine, then, yeah, Twitter's losing about 4 million a day. So you can kind of understand why he's sacking about 3,000. Why did he buy it in the first place? Because he wants to make Twitter... Great again. Kind of, yeah. He wants to make Twitter, like, almost like a newspaper. But he wants it to be, like, where there's genuine freedom of speech on there. Like, people aren't, are allowed to have an opinion without being shot down. And also, he he, isn't he there. charging fees if you've got a tick? Yeah, so, so the verified blue tick, obviously we're not verified. I have no idea how it works when you get up there. Like, But he's now charging people £8. I think it's £8 a month. Yeah. Or like £8 a year. Something like that. A month, I think. It's some, yeah, it's like, well, it's $8. So it's like, what, £7 here? Something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It's exchange rate's rubbish anyway. Mm -hmm. but it's something like that. And, um... Yeah, people have been kicking off about it. Well, yeah, like, too fucking right. They're like, that's not freedom of speech. You're making me pay for my blue tick. And it's yeah. like, 
it's kind of like, but the people that are kicking off are like people that are loaded, like they're rich celebrities, like they've got all the money in the world and they're kicking off about paying eight pounds to have a verified tick. Like, and it's so, it's, he's like, he's done it on purpose, of course he has. Like, he's done it though to cause like a bit of controversy. And there's so many verified people. That's probably like a massive income stream for Twitter anyway. It makes sense. It's, yeah. it's, it's, um, I don't agree with it. But I can appreciate. Yeah, I can, I can appreciate the, the, the plan. Yeah, yeah the I, benefit. I don't see why. Like, I don't get it. But I think, if anything, I think he's done it. Like I said, just to stir people up and get people talking yeah. and cause a bit of controversy. He seems very good. Apparently, at also he. Um, I don't. I can't remember what the source was. Apparently, like, like nigger has been like used like. Five hundred percent more times ever since he's had Twitter as well. Really? But yeah, I'm gonna find the source and put it in the thing, but I can't remember where I saw yeah, it. Yeah, because he, um, yeah, he's like a real big advocate of this whole freedom of speech, and he wants people to be able to say what. But freedom of speech to the point where you can like, yeah, not, shit not up. like no. I think the point of what he wants is to make Twitter like this truthful platform where like the truth is always exposed. So like, if the the because it's obviously American, like. Um, if like the the government in America is doing stuff and they're lying about stuff, like people can tweet it and they're not going to get cancelled and like, yeah. like it'll be a genuine source and it'll be like truth. Like it's yeah. He wants it's like a truth based thing, but I think like I said at the minute with this whole freedom of speech, it's gone the other way. So like he needs to control it because it's gone the other way where like racism is being used a lot more. People are just saying because so he's brought Donald Trump back on, like Andrew Tate, like all the big Has controversial he? Tig, uh, oh, fucking figures. Hell. Kanye West um, is back on as well, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, or Yee now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Kanye. Okay. Yeah, so he's he's that makes sense, but like they're all back on. Um, they're all back on like the social media platform because Donald Trump's been tweeting again. Um, because he said the reason that all these people were banned wasn't like a very good reason. Mm. Although, with um, what's his name? With Ye at the minute, like he's been really like, what's it, anti Semitic? Anti Semitic, yeah. Yeah, like doing all of that sort of stuff. So I don't really see why he's been put back on. But like Donald Trump and stuff, yeah, like they've just put them all back on. Apparently, everyone that was banned has been lifted. I just feel like it's so infuriating because Andrew, not Andrew, sorry, Elon Musk has so much power, so much power that he could create so much good. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it's so like infuriating to see where he's like, giving the platforms for these, like, absolute twats, basically. And it's just like, really? Like, do you know what I mean? I just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. He's literally the most powerful person in the world. And that terrifies me because he's an absolute twat. Yeah, he's an idiot. He's like, what, for 40, I think, in his 30s, 40s? 40s. But the, he's got, and he's got, a, I mean, like, a lot of time left to make a lot of more, yeah, a lot like, more damage. He's done a lot of things, like, in all fairness to him, that are, like, mental. Like, the whole getting the rockets to go up and land again and like all of that sort of stuff is nuts. Yeah. Um, for like half the price and all of that. But he's, um, yeah, like the whole Twitter thing, like apparently he's been like tweeting, oh, I love Twitter. Like I can do all of this. We want to do all of that. But like, if you notice a lot of what he's saying is like all about America as well. And I'm like, this is a platform used worldwide. Like, yeah. And he's just saying, I want to make America like this. Do you know what it is though? I feel like it's because we were at the point where like so many things like Americanized. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, America yeah. has so much dominance. Like people say a lot of the time that we can't actually distinguish the difference between the UK and the US. Yeah. Which I get to an extent. Yeah. No, I do get that. I mean, all the restaurants in America as well, they're like slowly making their ways over now. Like yeah. Fast food chains. I like saw there's... a Wendy's. There's a Wendy's. There was a Wendy's. Where did I see Wendy's it? Wendy's is all over London. There's uh, Popeyes is starting to come to London. I think there's one in like. I think there's one in Gloucester. Yeah, the Wend pff... Wendy's has already taken over yeah. the entire country. There, there's one in Reading. Um, they're all over the place. Um, and then like Taco Bell, that's started to appear everywhere. Um, the only one I think that's not really come over yet, or one of the big ones, is that In and Out Burger. But it's basically Five Guys. Because Five Guys is obviously a big chain as well. So, I mean, that's not surprising. The only difference is we don't have guns. Yeah. We just have loads of knife crime instead. So it's kind of like, <laughs> not much difference is there really? Oh, uh, I do manifest a happier 2023 for the world, but... Um... Yeah, I don't know whether that will happen. Okay, so I have forgotten to do Tweet of the Week because I've been so busy this week. Okay. However, I'm just going to do like, that's what I want to talk to you about, so I'm just going to do that instead. So 
toxic relationships, not necessarily romantic mm -hmm. and platonic. Yeah. It's because we're gonna get kicked out of the room. So basically, I saw something the other day and they were basically saying, I can't remember what the source was. I need to find my sources and write them down. But they're basically saying that like, it's really interesting how we treat romantic relationships com compared to platonic. Yeah. Am I saying it right? Platonic? Platonic, yeah. Like in the sense, your girlfriend and boyfriend could do so many shitty things, right? And like, everyone's going to be like, oh, what the fuck? That's mad. But like, when your friend treats you like shit, yeah, you people... You, no, I don't think you do though. I think when friends treat you like shit, you like, it's very much like, oh, push it to the side. I just won't see them for a while. But you're still yeah. friends. Whereas relationships, it's like, mm, do you know what? Like, but it, it differs on the person. But I think more than often, people who are dating someone, if someone's like being a twat, yeah. they like, they cut it off. Whereas with a mate, they'll be like, oh, he's still, he's still, she's still my mate. I'm just going to take some time away. Whereas you can't take time away from a relationship, can you? Obviously, yeah, no. I, you know? I get that. I get what you mean. I mean, I personally, I think sometimes I'm too forgiving. Like I think you are, yeah. Like, I I'm the same, man. I forgive people quite a lot. So like friendships, I'll just accept it and just be like yeah okay like that's fine yeah and then, like i mean you know my relationship history anyway like yeah I, that's you know, not but you no know, but like, as in, yeah. like i again i was like really forgiven for like a very long time and no uh, don't get me wrong it went both ways but like yeah of course but but like like so in that situation i don't know like it took it's a long thing to cut off like i i, I always feel bad cutting friendships off i find it really hard to just be like even are you the type? Like, are you the type? Do you do you have like an actual? Would you? Are you the type to have like a sit down conversation with them? And be like, look, you're being a prick, or like, I think, or yeah, do you I'd, just I'd like call them up on it? Like, I would call them up on it, and there would come a point where like I would cut it off. But I think my way of cutting stuff like that off is like I would just slowly stop talking mm -hmm. and then just like leave it. Yeah, like, never make an effort. And if they start making an effort, then I. Probably be like, oh, okay, fair enough, you're making an effort. Let's see. Explain we, what's yeah. gone up. But, like, I'm not very good at just going, I can't be doing anymore. And just be like, nah. I would. I would. 100%. Yeah, no. no, to be fair, not of everyone, to be fair, but like, yeah. Thing is, right, the way I see it is there are some people that I've known since day fucking dot, right? Yeah, yeah. Who are absolute twats. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolute yeah, yeah. twats. There are some people who I've met in the last two years who I value a lot more and appreciate a lot more than people who I've known since I was like, what, 18, 19, 20, you know, like even like, what, early teens. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like people also are very bad at like, um, like, attaching um a length of friendship with yeah. it being like a, a healthy one yeah, yeah, yeah do you know what i mean yeah not 100 percent. which I, I don't think is right no i don't think it's right either and i think i think i've probably done that at times as well like, same it's, it's like you've you know like, i've known you for so long like, i'll give you 20 chances because you've done you know but it's not like a justifiable like reason to like maintain no, no, a friendship yeah, not at all no and it's like sometimes you'll be carrying a negative friendship along for years and like you it's just negative like you time. know you have those mates yeah. and it's literally like a bird like i had this one mate who i've recently binned off um and i just thought you know when you see someone and you just leave them and you just think that wasn't enjoyable yeah that isn't enjoy i remember talking to my friends about it um because my friends my friends aren't friends with them but my friends my friends know them and they were like george they're actually a dickhead like they're actually a prick like can we and even yeah. my friends called me up they were like well, you wouldn't put like we wouldn't put up with this from you and you wouldn't put up with it from us. So like what makes it any different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Is it a long friendship? Yeah. Yeah. Not as long as you and me, but long enough for it yeah, to be like significant. Yeah. But like I like honestly, like and it, I feel like when it gets to a point where like you don't even feel sad, you're not talking, it's like, well, you just feel yeah. re you feel relieved. Yeah. You feel yeah, relieved. No, literally relieved. It's, it's so weird. I think when you get older, it comes of age, you mm. realise that you can just walk away from people and it's okay, like and that people are going to come into your life and they're going to be great for like, like you say, like a year, two years, they're going to be really good. And then like, it just fizzles out. Yeah. Like we need to like normalize like temporary friendships, I think, because yeah, depending on like where you are, like I have friends in this place for whatever reason. And that's okay. That's cool. Yeah. No. And it's like, I know for a fact, as much as I love my uni mates, there's like a few of them that like I will stay in touch with for a long time. I know I will. Yeah. But there's some that like I just see in class, I got really well with them. Uni you know, friends is a very interesting yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah, and then that's it. Like, and I probably won't see him again. Like, but like, there's no. It. This is and this is the thing. Like, I feel like. Um, sorry, not to interrupt. I feel like. Um, 
Uh, that you can have a lot of friends, right? Who it's very much like you don't talk to them, like, and it's like you've known them for a fair amount of time. It's like, like, um, I care for you. I hope you're well. Do you know what I mean? I wish yeah, the yeah, best yeah. for you, but like, I don't fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Sorry, like, what were you gonna say? No, like, you, like you see, like you just want the best for people, and like, I had it last year, and I think that taught me last year was like with, like being at uni, um, last year, and then going back into accommodation mm -hmm. again this year, and not seeing people anymore that like I was friends with last year. Or seeing things anymore. Yeah, well, you know, either or. But, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird, like you learn, you do learn to like, to, to... <laughs> you not out yourself, could you? <laughs> I've been like waiting for the whole hour, I'm like when can I fit this in? When can I fit this in? Sorry. Yeah, it's, uh... but, yeah no, it's, you just like, as you get older, and I think uni's good for teaching you that friendships are like, a lot of them will be tempering and the yeah, good friendships like that's stick. fine though like you'd rather have like four really good mates than like yeah 100% than like a few that are like they all piss you off like you know yeah, and have no, like four that. times as many yeah yeah okay so I'm I'm certain they're talking because they want the lights um so okay cool thank you very much yeah thank you for having me mate it's all right. the first white <laughs> guest how do you feel I'm very honoured I yeah. love and the only yeah, Sorry, guys. Do you know what, right? It's really weird because I have it where like people like DM me and they'll be like, oh, hi, can I come on the show? And I'm thinking, have you read the cover art? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, people see podcasts and they just say, oh, yeah. I, that. <laughs> yeah. I had this one from Le on LinkedIn ages ago. And um, it was like, I can't remember what it said. And I thought it was about like business management, like um, really? workshops. Yeah. And I thought you obviously, all you've seen, literally, yeah. all you've seen is podcasts. I think, oh, let's fucking go. Yeah, no, that's mad. Like, but it's good that people are trying to get on the show, though. I mean, popular demand. Yeah, no, High popular demand. A lot of camera work to be done. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, okay, so where can we find you, please? What are the socials? Oh, that's a good question. The weekly show is, is, the, is the main one. Cool. Use that one. Anything else? Uh, well, Instagram. Some girls might fancy you on here. Okay. You're, sing you're single, right? Yeah, so if anyone fancies me, my, my Instagram is Sam Robbins 10. Let's <laughs> um, fucking go. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. I'm really hungry. You hungry? Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna yeah. like go down there? Like go like somewhere else? This is good enough, yeah. I'll go. Know. I'll do either. Either yeah. or either. Cool. All right. Um. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. With my wonderful co-host and my cameraman <laughs> Sam. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, we will. We're back next week. Consistency. Let's fucking yeah. go. All right. Tala.